We shall now learn how to display the edit form inside the Moodle dialog. When the user clicks on that link button for edit, an ID is sent to the server through an AJAX call and the server returns a form which is displayed in the Moodle dialog. So let us see how to do that. Let us first of all review the story how it will go. These are the edit buttons. User is clicking on them and call goes to the web server. It calls AJAX edit passing an ID to it. This is HTTP GET. This is what we have at present. Now what we have to do is return the HTML for the edit form. This is what we have to do. Now how to return this story? The user has clicked for edit ID is 1, the call comes here, the database is searched for the record at ID 1, that data is filled into a form and the completed form is sent there so that it appears in the modal form along with the data values for the drop down also text boxes drop down and also a send button this complete html has to be sent to the modal dialog so that its html is filled proper and so that the form is displayed to the user properly this is a challenging task. So, so many things are involved in this. How do we settle this? The method is to use editor template here. It will simplify our task to a lot of extent. We will write an editor template and see the mechanism for returning it completed. So editor template as you know they will be placed inside the home controller with a folder editor template and there we will write some HTML code for the editor template. Okay what will that code look like? Before going for that we can discuss that. That code no doubt should be something uh, sorry it, it should be something at the rate using begin form and inside it your usual form drop html dot text box for x goes to or html dot drop down for so that whole story x goes to this will be put inside that and finally followed by an input type is equal to submit so this sort of story is likely to be there first of all let us decide whether at this point it will be ajx dot begin form or HTML dot begin form. This is one thing we should decide. To decide this, you see this small box. Here I have that data entry form shown in the modal dialog. This is the modal dialog. Here you have that data entry form shown. and here is the send button. 
the decision between this and this is easier because ask us ask yourself the question how this send request will go when you click on the send button when the user clicks the send button the call will be ajax or normal html call or a full post back i think of course it has to be an ajax call so that when it is clicked that send is clicked it silently posts this data to the server an update is caused and some response comes back to you and depending on that response if everything is okay on this form this dialog box should be silently disposed of so since the whole story is ajax based this send button will also post this form you are inside this form now this will be posted through an ajax call so that is decided now you will be sending it through ajax dot begin form so it's okay but to what will it post back it should post back to the same action method that sent this one you were sent this page by http get ajax edit int uh, one id parameter so where will it be posted back it will be posted back to the post version of ajax edit instead of id there will be one more parameter the parameter for the posted data for this posted data as usual so this this is begin form is going to be ajax one thing second the action method to which the data will be posted will be of the same name that sent you this form it will be posting back to ajax edit so with this information let us first of all start to write the template this is what we are talking about the template only this is the template that will appear inside the model model dialog so uh, we are here back to our solution explorer and let me right click on home add new folder i'll call it editor templates it has to have this name editor templates then i can right click on this one add add new item that will be easier the uh, point is that you create an empty form basically nothing uh, nothing written in it basically so this is this is the one that will generate for me i can give it the name my editor template and click add this is empty because we wanted it to be empty so that we can type freely in this so we can begin typing right now this template will receive a tbl order because we are editing tbl order and this is editor template for tbl order so we have fitted the first line as tbl order then we decided that it has to be an ajax begin form and also this begin form is going to post back to your ajax edit the same action that will that will uh, send this form to us it will post back to the same 
We are not specifying any AJAX options. We'll come to them later if required. This has to have two uh, overloads, two arguments, and uh, the second argument can be kept empty for the right now. Then this is the submit button. Start writing the table. Label for product code foreign key. It will display the label for the foreign key. That is the label besides your drop down list. Drop down list is your foreign key. From the TBL order. Foreign key contains S, M, L values and they will be linked to this drop down list. And the label here choose a product or whatever. This is what it is. You could have easily replaced this one by choose product yourself. Hardly it matters. But it is just a like more systematic way of writing things. Then HTML dot hidden for x goes to x dot id. This is a hidden field that will store the id of the current TBL order that is being edited. This will be read at the time of update. We'll show you when it is required. For the present, we'll add it. It is required in this case because this form is editing one record and on the save button This ID information will be required. Why is this ID information not required when you are doing the without AJAX? Why will you need it only in case of AJAX and not when you are doing it without? Here is the answer. When you are doing it without AJAX, your address bar contains that ID. There it is written home by edit by 10. The ID is present in the address bar. And here is the OK button or save button. When you click and this is the form. When you click OK it posts back to the same URL. That is it will post back to the same action method with id value of 10 because this slash this 10 will be interpreted as id. When you post back an entire form you don't have to send this id through this form. So we never stored it. In case of ajx the problem is that address bar is not related here. Because address bar is not moved at all. No post back is occurring. So uh, it, it has nothing to do with this address bar is not related to this AJAX. Therefore, you have to have some mechanism of storing that ID within this form. So that it can be picked at the time of update or whenever it is required. So for that, we have used a hidden field for storing that ID. Coming here. This is drop down list for the product code foreign key. This is label for and this is the drop down for. View back dot product codes product code the same story. This is the display value, this is the bound value and this is the list. 
so the action that is actually sending this form will fill the view back then order number text box for and label for the amount and similarly text box for the amount with this this form is completed now we have to do two things first is whenever this editor template is filled see this one this is the flow that we discussed edit 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 when an edit is clicked it sends an ajax get request to ajax edit method passing the id in this method the record is searched order is searched from the database and passed to the template that is the current page that we are discussing this one and when it is passing it to this one it will somewhere here fill the view back this view back will be available to the template so this template will have the data as well as the view back and when this template is filled the current one on this page we are discussing when this page is filled it will be sent back to the modal dialog so this drop down list is meant for doing that story and your data has come for the order number text box will display that order number pre filled and data will be coming for the amount and text box will be pre filled with the amount so basically this template will be called from the ajax edit method which will serve the view stay view back also and the record also when this is filled it will be returned black to the dialog that is wishing to show it okay let us see what is happening at present by running it this is the display who is giving me this display it is the home controller index method is giving me the display at present only index method and product codes get product codes is for filling the view back it has not been used in this yet and there is the index method that is returning the entire list of your orders now the user clicks this one when he clicks this one a box pops up it is filled with please wait but there is nobody on the server to receive this request the request has been sent where has it has it been sent have a look here you sent an a get request this is your ajax edit action method this is your edit that is appearing on that last column of your tbl orders the request is ajax request is sent to ajax edit through get but nothing is happening the call gets stuck on please wait because we haven't yet added the ajax edit function there let us now add that first and then come back this is our home controller we'll begin to add here right now so the only two functions are there at present we can make some space and start to write it will be get request its name will be ajax edit and it will receive the id only id so why is it receiving because you are sending it from here this is your edit action link you are sending the id from here get product codes to fill the view back 
so that the edited template gets the view bag field to, to show the items for the drop down list. View bag is filled. Then we have to search the database for that order against this ID. So we are writing ctxt.tbl orders whatever. And then we are writing return partial view. Writing the full path to the template. We have the data in order. This data is being passed to the template here. And template is returning as the filled form and we are writing return partial view. Whatever is the HTML for the partial view will be as such returned to the caller through AJAX. Because the call is AJAX, it is AJAX action link. So this solves most of our problem about how to send a completed form. Now I will summarize it for you. Here we were. We were worried about how to return HTML form filled properly. How have we done it? We created an editor template for the model and wrote the HTML inside it. And this one, how we managed? We wrote one line return partial view. First argument was the partial view. Second one is the data. So what happened? This data reached here. And whatever the final result of the combination was, it was ultimately returned back to the client. And it has passed through AJAX, which is a silent request. Now let us run and see it. I get this form. Click here. Nothing has happened. So most probably some typing mistake is there on my part. Let me come back and see the form. It is views by home by editor. Let us check it. Views by home. This is the home. By editor templates it is ok. And then I have written my edit template. This should be my editor template. Now run it. Click on the edit and it comes. It has come through the AJAX call. The form is very much posted here. It is model I can't click beneath it. I can cancel it. Try to edit some else. And you can see the utility of the please wait. It's shown momentarily. When it is on a real server, it will take more time. So it, that will appear there. This is very good for end user. So before I close it, be careful about this path. It ends in CSHTML. And we haven't written anything else on this side. Just one AJAX edit call. And I filled my editor template. And it brought back the whole form into my delegate edit. Here I have written update target ID. So whatever came from the server that was sent set as inner HTML of this. And since this was already present as a modal dialog, the please wait was replaced by that and 
it gives the illusion of a complete form available on the client side. So in our next we will actually cause the update. You can see it is not updating now. Click on edit, change mobile to software, click save. It's hardly vanishing also. It's not disappearing also. So we'll now see in the next lecture how to solve this problem.